pondered, weak and weary, over many quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. Oh, um, anyway, today we're going to learn how to do a simple project in GarageBand to add some voice so you can put it to your broadcast. And uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to open GarageBand. Sometimes GarageBand is down here in your dock. Other times you find GarageBand by clicking on the desktop. Go to Go, go to Applications. This is where you can find all applications. And go down here to GarageBand. There is a GarageBand 6.05, which is an older version. And I keep it hanging around because it does some stuff the new one doesn't. But for now, let's just use the new GarageBand. Or if you can't find it that way, there's a little... Uh, magnifying glass up here in the corner and you can type garage and you can find GarageBand that way or any other um, program. So anyway, once you get GarageBand open you're going to go to, it's going to open like this and you're going to want to go to Empty Project. So click on the Empty Project and your project opens and when it does, it's going to ask you what kind of input you want. You want to use record using a microphone or line input. So you create that. And for purposes of today, we're going to use the um, built-in microphone, but eventually we'll use either a pod cast microphone or we might use some other kind of microphone for your input. So go to GarageBand, go to Preferences, go to Output Device and go Built-in Output. That way you can use the headphones. And then also go to system setting built in microphone. So your output is your headphones and, um, oops, not built in microphone. Yeah, my built in microphone. And I'm waiting. And this, yeah, built in output. That should do your microphone. I mean, your headset. Okay. Let me close that. Now, here's the way this works. There's a little record button up here, and we're going to record that. But before we do, we're going to turn off the 1, 2, 3, 4, or the countdown. And we're also going to turn off the metronome if it's on. And then also, this is set up for beats and measures. And for now, what we're doing is um, voice. So we don't really need beats and measures. We're going to do time. And then, of course, you've got... Um, hundreds of seconds, tenths of seconds, seconds, and minutes here up at the top. And if you get to it, hours over here, but usually we don't get to that, in, especially in broadcasting, sometimes cinematography. Okay, so now you're going to uh, hit the record button and always pause a little bit, let, the, let it flow a little bit before you start talking so you don't get clipped off at the beginning. So I'm going to click on the record button. Once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered weak and weary, over many quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, as I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. And then I hit the stop button. Okay, so, so I'm just going to go right there and play it. Once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered weak and weary, over many quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, as I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, Wrapping at my chamber door. Okay, so now I've got my recording there. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to call it Raven. And save it. This is just saving the project. It's actually not actually saving the clip. Eventually what you'll do is you'll go, when you're done, you'll go Share and send the song to iTunes. Okay, or we'll export the song to disk, either one. So we can go export the song to disk, and we're going to change it to um, just a uh, sound bite, which is an AIFF or an MP3. You can use either one of those. Don't want to save it in GarageBand, though, so probably put it in your Documents folder or your desktop so you can find it there and that sort of thing. So I'll go ahead and export it um, to my desktop as a MP3. Okay, so now if I go to my desktop, once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered weak and weary. Okay, so there's my little thing done, and I'm going to close GarageBand, and that's basically how to do that. We'll talk more about there. 
um, saving it, 